of all impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> o most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And to the kingdom of power and glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the Amen. Lord, mercy, 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 Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and God. Come and honor thy brothers, O Lord of hosts. My soul longeth and painted for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh shall rejoice in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle that would ask for herself, for she may lay her young, even at all for the Lord of hosts, my King and my God. <coughs> Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and to ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee. He hath made a sense in his heart, and the veil of weeping in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the Lord give all their blessings, they shall go from strength to strength. The God of gods shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer, give me, O God of Jacob. O God of eternity, behold, and look upon the face of thy anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord, God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all their wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thy anger. Turn us back from God of our salvation, and turn away that anger from us. <coughs> Wilt thou be wroth with us into the ages, and wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation, and thou give unto us. <coughs> I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, and to them that turn their hearts unto him. Truly nigh unto them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is spread out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. He for the Lord will give goodness in our land, shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thy ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in me. <coughs> Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to thee will I cry all the day long. May God the soul of thy servant, for to thee will I lift up my soul. For thou, O Lord, are good and gentle, and plenteous and mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give me, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of my affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. <coughs> For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice, that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the dead of most Hades. <coughs> O God, transgressors have risen up against me in the assembly of the mighty and sought after my soul, and they have not set me before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, are compassionate and merciful, long suffering and plenteous and mercy and true. Look upon me and have mercy upon me, give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaiden. 
Working me inside and too good, and let them that hate me before them be put to shame. For thou, Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Working me inside and too good, and let them that hate me before them be put to shame. For thou, Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. <coughs> Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, full of grace, for from thee hath shown forth Christ our God, the Son of Righteousness, who hath illumined those in darkness. Be glad thou also, O righteous elder, who receivest in thine arms the deliverer of our souls, who granted us resurrection. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O God of our fathers, who have redeemed us with us according to thy gentleness, withdraw not thy mercy from us, but by their entreaties govern our life in peace, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin and didst suffer crucifixion of the one and didst despoil death by death and is God and didst reveal the resurrection, disdain not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, show forth thy love for mankind, the merciful one, except the Theotokos who gave thee birth who initiated for us, and do thou our Savior, save and despair in people, deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake. Neither listen all thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. In thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <coughs> Amen. O thou who didst hallow the virgin's womb by thy birth, and didst bless the hands of Simeon as was meet, by anticipation thou hast now saved even us, O Christ God. But in the midst of battle, grant peace to thy community and strengthen the hierarchy whom thou hast loved, O thou who alone lovest mankind. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth have worshipped and glorified O Christ God, who are long suffering, plenteous and mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and hast mercy on sinners, who callest all the salvation to the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and God our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about for thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of that unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God, the Word, the very Theotokos, leader we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Let the gracious under us, and bless us, and cause thy face to turn upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who are long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present hour, wherein thou dost hang upon a life giving tree, and didst make away the paradise from the wise thief, and by death didst destroy death. 
Be gracious unto us sinners and let unworthy servants who we have sinned and committed any pity and are worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven. And we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness. Spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy and save us for thy holy name's sake. For our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary and forgive us our sins and mortify our carnal mind. That putting aside the old man who may be clad with the new and live for the air master and benefactor. And that thus by following the nine commandments we may attain to rest everlasting man is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee we send up glory with thine unoriginate Father, and thy most holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God our King, O come let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty as thou put on, who covers thyself with light of the garment, who stretches out the heavens as a word for it, and support his chambers in the waters, who appointed the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. Made his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire, who established the earth and the trueness thereof, which will not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss of the garden is dismantled, on the mountain shall the water stand. At thy rebuke they will be at the voice of thy thunder, shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down into the place where thou hast established them. Thou pointest abound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give rain to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge from the midst of the rocks will they give voice. The water of the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the food of thy words. He crosseth the grass to grow with the cattle of the green earth of the surface of men. To bring forth right out of the earth, and wine make it flat, the heart of man. Make his face cheerful with all the great strength in the man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nest, the house of the hand is chief among them. The high mountains are refuge for the hearts, and so is their rock for the hairs. Yet made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth its going down. Thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night when all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions growing after their prey, seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. No man shall go forth unto his glory, and they will stay there until the evening. How magnify thy works, O Lord, and this the mass thou may behold. The earth is full of thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. There are nine things, beginning and removable, small and increased of the day. There go the ships, there this dragon thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give me a fruit in the season. When thou givest it, and I will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, no things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall seize him, and to them thou shalt they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord will rejoice in his words. He will look on the earth, the wind that tremble, will touch the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, I will chant my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. <coughs> let sinners and cease from the earth, and they that work in the tea, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, my soul. The sun and earth is going down, the earth is the darkness, and there is the night. How magnified are thy words, O Lord, and bless the mass thy name the more. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For the peace of the whole world.
be the state of the holy churches of God and the union of all. Let us speak to the Lord. For this holy temple and for them that with the reverence and the fear of God enduring herein, let us speak to the Lord. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord and very most reverend Metropolitan Nicholas, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the venerable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us speak to the Lord. For our all venerable Father in the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander at Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, and let us speak to the Lord. For this land that's of poetries and armed forces, let us speak to the Lord. For the God preserved Russian land, its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us speak to the Lord. For this holy monastery, for the city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us speak to the Lord. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us speak to the Lord. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us speak to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us speak to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us on God by thy grace. All in great remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessing, glorious, Lady Deotokos, and ever virgin, Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another, and all our life unto Christ our God.
Born into the temple of God and today in accordance with the law. Sitteth in the arms of the elder as on a throne. And as God receiveth gifts from Joseph, a pair of turtle doves, the undefiled church. And the people newly chosen from among the Gentiles. And two young pigeons, the ruler of the old and the new. And Simeon finally receiving the fulfillment of the prophets made to him. And blessing the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos. Foretold in imagery the suffering she would endure. And as from God, deliverance crying out. Now let me depart, O Master, as thou didst tell me before. For I have seen thee the pre-eternal light, the Savior and Lord of the Christian people. For the Holy Holy Blessed Father of Jesus Christ, having come to the setting of the sun, having become the union light, we praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God. We did it for the other time to be given with reverend voices of Son of God, the of life, wherefore the world I glorify thee. Blessed hands, wisdom never came on in the first tone. My mercy, O Lord, shall pursue me all the days of my life. Thy mercy, O Lord, shall pursue me all. of green pastures there as he made me to dwell. Thy mercy, O Lord, shall pursue me all the days of my life. Thy mercy, O Lord, shall pursue me all the days of my life. Our sinful Lord, as a sin without sin, blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify us not even to the age of summer. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give the understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endure it forever, this day not the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due our song, to thee glory is due, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and ever the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. For the holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask in the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask in the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask in the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask in the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our, our life in peace and repentance, let us ask in the Lord. Be Christian and lead to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the judgment seat of Christ, and let us ask. All in great reverence, our most holy, most pure, most blessing, glorious, and Deotokos, and every virgin, Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ and our God.
According to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Then we pray for our great Lord and Father, His Holiness Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Nicholas, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Then we pray for our all venerable Father and the abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Then we pray for this land, its authorities and armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Then we pray for the God preserved Russian land and its orthodox people, both in our own land and in the diaspora. And for their salvation. Then we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren, God did they rest me for us, and the Orthodox here and everywhere laid to us. Then we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation. Pardon and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let thou might down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety, and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray that he will bless the building of our new church to the glory of his name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion. By the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit, let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present who await of thee, great and abundant mercy. Christ, God, our 